everybody welcome back to ip farms well it's another dreary day here on the farm uh i got you attached to my gooseneck trailer here um we're getting ready to start on this project or start back on this project rather uh it's been a long time in the making i got a lot of new subscribers uh probably don't even know about the project the idea this was back when the videos were even more cringy than they are now so i thought i'd go over a few things we did get some parts in finally after all this time um, but I'll explain a little bit about what the plans are and like I said if you're new to the channel you got any questions you know feel free to drop them down in the comments but uh, we'll go over a little bit of it explain it and uh, then we'll get started on the work okay guys real quick uh, this is my 8 by 22 foot gooseneck trailer this was one of the first purchases here when I started to reclaim and yes it was pennies on the dollar uh, it's shop built uh, very well built I uh, got a little bit of uh, jankered up bracing up here in the front uh there with a cutting edge i believe but anyway uh when we got it it had a flat top uh cargo deck on it and the hitch came straight out basically and it was way too low uh then i had my gray three-quarter ton dodge truck and it was almost rubbing the bed rails so basically what we did was cut the whole front of the trailer off extended it up eight inches added all the side gussets uh 45 to everything in built this whole new uh front piece right here added the bracing in on that put a new receiver hitch on it of course and uh, we went to town and it's hauled many a piece of equipment here to the farm so far the chisel plow the disc um, several other things in the beginning um, but it just had the old 3500 pound dexter axles under it and they were way too um, small basically for what i was wanting to do with it so i found two 10,000 pound axles they were short i needed to extend them and that's where we started pulling the axles out and working on that and i'll take you around here and show you a few of those pieces some of this might be a repeat for you guys if you've been with me for a while but we did finally get some new parts in okay guys right there is the um i guess you would consider it the plug and sleeve for the axles uh since we had to widen them uh i believe that's two and seven eighths uh solid roll steel um for the inside of the axle tube and then there beside of it i believe it's four inch schedule 80 pipe for the outside so we'll be putting a uh, plug inside the axle tubes that are original and then adding a sleeve over the top of it to extend them out to the uh, width that i need for the gooseneck let me show you one more thing here all right well here are the parts that have been the major hold up on the trailer axle swap from the beginning um the 10,000 pound axles run two and a half inch uh, slipper spring setup, and it's kind of oddball, or I think it's oddball. And I had trouble finding a manufacturer that made that setup. And I finally found them and uh, ordered the parts, and they were on back order and they stayed on back order, and it just was a domino effect. And finally, after about six or eight months, they just canceled the order. I wasn't in a great big hurry then, so uh, no big deal. It kind of got pushed to the wayside again, but. Uh, Finally looked around and found another manufacturer that um, sold these, so we got those on order therein. Uh, there's a 30,000 pound gooseneck ball there for the service truck here. I uh, get to hitch in it. So we're going to get back on the uh, trailer project. Um, I'll put a card up in the corner for a video or two of uh, the first part of the project when I was stripping the axles out and mocking these up and the whys of uh, why I decided to do this instead of just buying new axles for it. So. There's a lot of new guys here and uh, people to the channel, so you might be interested in a little bit of this fabrication work. All right, we'll just call this a little precursor teaser video to some upcoming welding and fabrication on the axle swap for the gooseneck trailer. Uh, if you've been with me for a long time, like I said, it's probably gonna be a little bit of repeat. Uh, hopefully I'll throw them some cards up in the corners and you guys can go back and look at the videos if you're interested. They were very cringy, a whole lot worse than they are right now. Not that they're great now anyway, but uh, might make a little bit more sense. The main holdup, of course, was the uh, equalizers and spring hangers. I explained that in a previous clip. Now that we have those, I've already got all the plugs and sleeves for the axles, and the axles themselves are cut and ground down and ready to be mocked up. So, uh, you know, with doing hay next year, the gooseneck's going to be valuable for any kind of deliveries, moving round bales, or just for the fact of, you know, being able to move a lot of hay out of the field at one time if I need to. Uh, I do have a couple things I'm possibly going to be picking up uh, over the winter that the uh, eight foot wide trailer is definitely going to be needed for. So uh, kind of combining both of them together, fixing the truck, uh, getting all those issues, get it back on the road again. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish up the hitch. It's in and bolted up. I've got to weld a couple pieces and then cut the hole out in the bed, drop the ball in 
and uh, once we do that and get the trailer around here and uh, get started on it hopefully it goes pretty quick so um, like I said sometimes some people are interested in something besides just all out farming it's just another thing you know um, I try to get by as cheap as I possibly can pennies on the dollar you all know that um, and this is one of those projects that I started on I don't have hardly anything in the trailer itself or the parts to put it back together to basically have a 8 by 22 foot gooseneck with 10,000 pound axles under it so um, if you're interested definitely stay tuned uh, if you're not uh, I totally understand but uh, we'll be working on that before long so be looking for the video really appreciate all the support and the following you guys are continuing to do uh, means the world to me hopefully it won't die off with some of these shop projects that we've got to do over the winter but you know now's the time to jump on it when things kind of slow down so hopefully you'll tag along with me and uh, really appreciate everything guys till next time thank you